Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Brigandy, Legend of Forcena. I am your host, Vakus Lunari. I am very sorry for the extended leave of absence that I've been taking. It's been a while since I made a new video. Um, going back and forth between Brigandine and um, Lichten Battle Mage, taking up a lot of time, and also work has been crazy, but regardless, you don't even hear all that stuff. We have an attack set up to attack Cardiff with Meligant, Gilsus, and Ophelia. So we're going to the north, invading a little bit more of Norgard up here. So they are going to be facing Vanard, which is the leader of Norgard, Yvain, and Noe. So should be shaped up to be a pretty decent battle. So in that process, during the organization phase, I went ahead and sent Cole on a quest. So that will hopefully give us a uh, Glaws next turn if he uh, if his quest shows up after the attack is finished. So hopefully after the Battle of Cardiff is done, we'll be able to recruit a new hero, which would be fantastic. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Execute. You're going down, bro. You're going down. Deploy. It's going to be a nice battle, man. This is pretty even. He's got a white dragon with him and everything. That's kind of scary, but I should be able to handle it. Okay, so we're pretty close together. He actually might start coming to me since we're not too far apart. So what I'm going to do is try to do a formation with leaders in back and monsters in front like I normally do or try to do and see if they actually come to me. That would be fantastic if, that would be the ca if that's the case. Set up a little wall here. Put your archers in the back, your magic users in the back. And put your physicals up front. Common sense. Common sense. Um, you can go here. Okay, let's see if they start moving. Mm, not this turn. I'll probably wait one more turn. If they don't start moving next turn, then I'll go ahead and move a little bit further. Uh, you're actually good where you are, so I'm just going to end the turn here. I haven't gone over this yet. If you hit select during battle, you can actually pull up new menus. The first one is condition. If you click on that, you can see um, how many knights you have left on the field with the monster count and stuff like that. Um, basic stuff, what turn you're on and everything, who's attacking, who's defending. Uh, the next one, of course, is to end. If you choose end, it will end all, um, all actions on the current team that you have selected. So if I choose end, um, Gilsus and all of his monsters will end their turn. Um, auto. I don't recommend this whatsoever unless you have an overpowered team and you know you're going to win the battle because the AI can make some really, really stupid mistakes. So use auto battle at your own risk. You'll lose complete control over the battle until you hit select, um, but just use it at your own risk. And you can save during battle as well. So literally you can save at any point that you want during the game, which is fantastic. Um, and then you, of course, have your options that you can pull up at any time. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Pass it along to uh, Ophelia here. I need to change her class. What's her experience level? I need to change her class to an Enchantress. Because she's an expert. She's an expert in being a Cleric. If I can change her to uh, an Enchantress, she'll get the heal abilities along with the attack abilities. I'll probably I'll, I'll do that off screen whenever I finish the battle. No problem. Okay, Angel, I want you here. Let's get you put here. That's fine. On this team, we have a little too much healing, to be honest, and not enough power. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Because they've got a few healers on their team. Make a move, fool. Come on. Oh my goodness. Evane. Thank you. Here we go. I knew he would move at some point. Ow. Paralyze. I'm gonna get you guys to see that at some point. A level. I'll take it. You're too close, bro. I'm gonna take that leader out. Oh my goodness. He just pretty much sacrificed himself.
but that was a good hit, I'll have to admit. Yeah, he's going to be in trouble. Clay Golem should definitely hit a Mandrake. They're not that stupid. Yeah, that hurts too. And I can't paralyze this guy because he's made of clay. Don't knock golems all the time. I mean, their accuracy is crap, given that, but still, they have their uses. They're they're good meat shields, and they can't be affected by status effects, so if you get them up to the level 10 for a stone golem, stone golems have another ability called rock threat, which the accuracy on it is still bad, but it's still a ranged attack for a golem. It's pretty nice. Yep, that was going to hurt. White against black. Really? That's what's going to happen? <laughs> the decision making. I'm telling you, if you use the AI, they make stupid decisions like this. So definitely use auto battle at your own risk or if you have an overpowered team. Okay, well, he's in range of pretty much everything. Uh, let me see. Let's get a giant down here. He might miss, though. Let me see. I want to give power to Melligan and have him move down here to attack him, so I think I'm going to actually wait to do that. The center can go ahead and attack from range. That's fine. Missed. Come on. Oh well. This is who. This is Milligan's monster. Okay, I'm actually gonna bring the giant down here to attack in front, so I can move that centaur later. This will probably miss though. Giant's accuracies are bad too. Come on, give me a hit. <sighs> Man. hate that. Where's a freaking salamander when you need him? Alright, you can't reach. I'm gonna get at least one hit on this, on this freak. Let's protect... Yeah, giant. I probably should try to silence his magic, because he can actually heal believe it or not. Um, let's go ahead and hit him with a thunder. Yeah, sounds good. You haven't seen this yet. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic. All right. front here. Attack the ghoul. Why not? Critical. 120? I've never seen a scorpion do that much. Not even against a ghoul. Cool. Alright. Let's see. Do we need to heal anybody? Probably the cent Yep, Centaur. He's at level 4. I want to try to keep him around so I can get a high Centaur at level 10. It would be. Once we can do some evolutions, and you guys can witness that, it's going to make the gameplay so much more interesting for anybody who's playing this new. Let's get you to be here, since your main focus is healing anyway. Let's go here. No poison. That's whatever. Poison is not really a huge deal, honestly. It doesn't do that much damage every turn. So, um, do you need to heal anybody? 
not necessarily. I'm just gonna move you here so you can be in range to cast a divine ray on these uh, on these monsters here. Hopefully the leader as well. Let's bring you here. Let me bring some some healing. You can stay there. Good. All right. <laughs> that white dragon is on its way, and I'm scared. But if I can take out Evane, they're gonna retreat. I didn't get power to him. I said I was gonna do that. I completely forgot. That's my fault. But it's okay. I'm not really worried. We're whittling him down. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this turn. We'll see what happens. Don't miss. Come on. Get some a little damage. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, I dig it. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if I can... Uh, let's see how much damage I can do with Meligant. If it's substantial enough, I actually might be able to take him out with the Jin. Give me a critical. That would be fantastic. Nope, not quite. Oh, man. If it was a little bit more, I could probably go ahead and kill him with the Jin. Ugh, he crit. That's bad. Ugh. That's really bad. can't get around there. Oh man, if I could, I could take him out. Who's going to take their turn next? It's going to be Vannard. And then it's going to be him. He's going to heal, probably. Or retreat, one of the two. And by retreat, I mean just walk away. Not just escape the battle. Man. Actually, if the Mandrake can hit... If the Mandrake can hit him, I can probably kill him. No, I can definitely kill him. Please hit him. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, I can probably do it. I'm pretty sure a Jin is capable of doing at least 99 damage. I'm going to hit the Mandrake in the process, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and do some healing. Um... Sure, why not? I got plenty of healing anyway. If I need to heal Milligan, I got plenty. Cool. This team is just tanky. This should take him out. Maybe. We'll see. Do we have enough to do it? Yep, sure do. Bye bye, Meat Shield. Awesome. Grabbing that XP, man. Actually, I don't have to hurt the Mandrake. I can just go down here. Okay, cross your fingers. Come on. Give me at least 99. I know you can do over 100 deleters. Please, please, please. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh, it's not even close. Crap. Now he's gonna escape. Here comes the leader. One thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, he's tough. <laughs> no, what I wanted to mention is that if you actually happen to take out the leader of the country during battle, everybody will retreat. Their morale just goes way down. So, yeah, I knew he'd probably miss. It's fine. Vaynert actually put himself in some good danger, to be honest. I can do a lot of damage to him if Evane happens to tr happens to uh, retreat. She probably will. Either that or, her, or he'll heal. Yeah, it's against a flying creature. This is going to hurt. Eh, it's not terrible. <laughs> but two is really bad. That's fine. Oh man, Jin, he failed me. I thought he could have done it. I really had high hopes. 
Okay. What's he gonna do? Paralyze. Come on. Give me at least one paralyze. You've attacked a lot during this round. Come on. Really? Man. Oh well. <laughs> That's what main drags are for. That's why their health is so high. Because they're meat shields. Just use him as a distraction. <laughs> they really want that thing dead. Yeah, just focus all your monsters and stuff to the Mandrake. That's fine. I don't mind. I can summon one for cheap anyway. Yep, he healed. But this is fine. He won't heal enough. Because next round he's going down. No question. Okay. I actually will probably take him out now. Let me see if I can do it. If a giant hits, I can definitely take him out with Gilsus. Come on. Man, I swear. I don't think the Centaur can do enough damage. But we're gonna try. Whoops. Sorry about that, folks. You can change the view if you like with uh, R2. <laughs> Hit him. I would love to kill him with Gilsis. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I really don't. Um, if he casts Thunder, that's my only hope, really. It's a lot more powerful spell than Flame and Frost, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. Eh, we'll try it. He's dead regardless, but I would love to get the experience for Gilsus. It's alright. Are you serious? Man, so close. Evain, you piss me off. <laughs> okay. Um I'm actually going to not attack. Cuz if I can keep him around, I will. Yeah, kill the giant. This giant hasn't hit crap today. Let's protect... Elegant, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. I'm actually probably just gonna kill Evain with the Angel, with a Divine Ray attack. Seems like a good plan. Elegant doesn't need experience, he's at 20. He's already so powerful. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and end it right now. Goodbye. You haven't seen this attack yet. Check this out. This is really overpowered because this usually does like 200 damage. But still, he's gone. Boom. See ya. Yeah, your mistake was uh, charging in a head. And getting surrounded. <laughs> that was your mistake. All right, let's get some extra experience here, because they are def—they are definitely going to be retreating next turn. At least I think they are. If they stick around, I'll be surprised. Uh, let's go with the Mandrake. Everybody else is healthy. It's just the meat shields that need healing. Now, honestly, that's a good tactic. Cause they fo they like to focus those uh, monsters. Uh. Let's give some. Let's give the Griffin some protection. They probably won't retreat right away. 
They'll probably go ahead and attack with their monsters first, and then their leaders will be used to retreat. Uh, let's see. Scorpion or Mandrake? Yeah, let's go with Mandrake. Because <laughs> Bannon will probably kill the Scorpion, even if I do heal him. Because it's red against blue. Vayner also has Frost and Geno Frost as well, which can be very dangerous. If he sticks around, he'll probably use Geno Frost, because he's right up on me. Alright, you are going to stay put. What are you going to do? They're going to stay. Alright. Looks like I'm focusing that leader. Oh boy. Alright, we're good. Still got more to do, but we're good. Let's bring you over here. These gins are brave, man. I know he's at level 7, and he might die next turn, but it's okay. I do love gins, but they're weak, man, especially against these wyverns. Let's get let's get Melligan some health. Let's use a curse. Let's use it on Unicorn. Why not? You haven't seen Curse yet either. It's the equivalent of Divine Ray, just the dark version. Creepy. Look at that damage. Cool. Oh boy. I still got my work cut out for me, guys, in this battle. I really do. Vayner is no slouch. But I have got to start taking him down. Grit. Not bad. Not bad. He does have healers, though. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. He hurts. He hurts bad. It's a powerful leader. Now you know why I like playing as that country. I mentioned that before. It'd be great if he would paralyze this thing. That way it can't heal. Ugh. The unicorn's crit attack, if you ever witness it at any point during this playthrough, is hilarious. <laughs> it's called back kick. They literally kick any monster off the screen, even a dragon, and kick them back one uh, one hexagon space on the battlefield. It's quite a funny sight to behold. Um, let's keep you back and attack the wyverns here. Wait, 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 wait. No? Let's try to kill the unicorn. I can probably do it. Get rid of that healing. Come on, you can do that much damage. At level 4, you should be able to. Yep. Fantastic. No healing for you. Thank you. See, they will focus those meat shields all day. We'll kill them, <laughs> but we'll focus them. Alright, Vayner. Yeah, I knew he was going to pop it. Crud. This is going to hurt. Look at this, he's gonna hit everybody. Ouch. Yep, not pretty, not pretty at all.
Yeah, here goes the gin. Uh, I kind of wish I did it differently now that I think about it, but it's all right. <laughs> Usually when they get to about level four or five is when I start really worrying about the monsters to keep them around. Because, of course, then they have the potential to uh, evolve later. And there goes a griffin. actually a really really awesome battle there goes a gin yeah I need to get this team more uh, more physical power on it because honestly the healing is great it's just the the power is not there they do good against weaker teams but against the leaders of countries yeah it's it needs some work but what was a poison can I get a paralyze there it is so that scorpion cannot act until I think it's I think it's a total of three turns pretty sure it's that it might be the entire the entire round until he's cured I don't know I can't remember anywho it's going to be rough, rough, rough. This giant. I really don't want to put him up against Vayner. Let me see. Let's get some damage in on this Hellhound over here. No more healing. This unicorn is pretty much useless. But if I need a little bit of extra damage in there at some point, I'll take it. Now, the pixie is completely useless. So, you're just going to stay where you're at. This might be another loss for me, guys. I really don't I really wish that wasn't the case. <laughs> but it happens. At least I won't be losing a castle out of it. Hmm. This white dragon is gonna tear through everything. Alright. How much MP do you have? There's ninety one there. Ninety one for thunder. If I do that, then I won't have enough to cast. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, let's just cast Frost or Flame, one of the two. That way we have another another cast for Fire or Flame. Or Flame or Frost. Use that MP sparing. Because once it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> There's no recovering an MP in this game, by the way. Not during battle. at least try. This is red against blue, so he's going to hurt the giant pretty bad. The giant actually might not hit him, but I've got to try. There you go. Look at that damage. But, look at his damage. No, not a crit! Dude! Oh, man, he almost took me down. That's going to be over three. Almost 300. Oi. Alright, well... I'll never learn my lesson on that. I needed to get some damage in there. Okay, let's do a heal, obviously. Man, that was brutal. Hellhound will probably kill this thing, but it's okay. I'm trying to get rid of as much monsters as possible on their team.
That way they'll retreat. Four. <laughs> Unicorn should be able to kill it. Actually, wait. Uh, they're gonna be able to heal him if I do use the divine ray. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Let me divine ray the hellhound. That'll kill it. White against black. He be weak. Explosion. Yep. No problem. Alright. Cool. I'll take a level out of that. You've got a heal left. Let's... Who are we going to heal? The angel, maybe? No, heal the giant. That's fine. Works for me. Okay, you got protect. Let's protect the giant. <laughs> oh man, they're still not gonna retreat. I don't have enough power. Yeah, of course. There goes another monster of mine. It's fine though. They serve their purpose. <laughs> The rock birds actually can turn you to stone. It has a chance of doing, of doing that. If you get turned to stone and you don't have cure around, you're screwed. It's definitely terrible for a leader. <laughs> These meat shields, oh man. Definitely serving their purpose. Paralyze it. Yep, I knew she'd stay. Okay. How much HP do you have? 370. Okay. Who do I have left on your team? Nobody worth mentioning. This thing is going to kick the bucket anyway. Let me try to paralyze the dragon. <laughs> that would be fantastic if I could do that. Make your last stand. Paralyze this son of a bait. <laughs> I really didn't think it was going to happen. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I'll take it. Let's bring him down. Hopefully. Still gonna take probably another turn, but he might retreat because they don't have cure on their team. Oh, this is fantastic! All right, let's bring you up here. Not too shabby. They're pretty evenly matched. You can stay where you're at. Retreat. You're done. Just retreat. Yep. There he goes. You served your purpose. You will be remembered. Come on, Vanner. You can't win this. I've got you outnumbered. Do a back kick. Come on. It'd be great if you did this. Ah! I want you guys to see a back kick. It's hilarious. Really? Ah, no, he's gonna heal him. This is gonna hurt. Yep. Mm. Uh, 
Okay. Let's concentrate. I am going to do something very, very risky right now. If this giant hits, he's dead. But I'm taking a huge gamble. I don't like this. And I never do this, usually. But it's happening. Come on. Hit him, please. No! Ugh. Wasted. Oh, that sucks. That would have killed him, too. For sure. It's alright. Now she's gonna heal him when she gets her when she gets her turn. I can't take him down this turn. Damn. Well, most of his force is paralyzed, so I really can't complain. Let's keep you where you're at. Don't even attack. I don't need them killing off Gilsus. Uh, you can wait. All right. Now that I think about it, uh, well, he needs healing first of all. So let's get him some healing. I've got to keep that giant around. I'm gonna need him. I'm probably gonna cast Halo on him. Yeah, let's do that. That way he will not miss. His accuracy will be 100% on his next attack. Okay, you can wait there. And you can wait there. Don't stone him. Do not stone him, please. There's a crit, but I was worried about uh, the stone. If petrification would have hit me, I would have been done. Hmm. Surprising. I thought you would attack the leader. Whatever. That hurts too, so. Alright. Heal your leader. Go ahead. Yep. It's all right. I still, I can still do it. I can still kill him off. Okay. So first things first. Let's get the damage in with Milligan. This is a this is a dangerous battle. <laughs> We've had some extreme losses in this. <laughs> Nothing too detrimental as far as like powerful monsters go, but man, I lost a lot. Don't retreat. I swear if you retreat I'm going to get this kill. Ow. Weak. Yep. Her critical attack is actually really nice. It's a huge thunderbolt. <laughs> wow. What a battle, guys. It's been quite a long one. So, definitely after we finish this up and recruit Gloss. Episode's done. So. Do a back kick. I want to see a wyvern just fly off the screen.
Those angels are valuable, man. Keep those guys alive. Fog? That's your solution? Oh, man. I think I know what he did. Don't tell me that took my accuracy away. If he misses, then Fog just completely over override, uh, overrided the um, Halo. Halo gives 100% accuracy for the next attack, but Fog decreases your accuracy. I don't know if this diminishes it or not. We're going to find out. If he misses, then I know it worked. Please, please say it isn't so. Thank you. Okay, so Fog will not override um, Halo. That's good to know. Scare me there for a second. Please be enough. This is my last stand. I have got to kill him right here. Gone. Oh, man. What a battle, guys. They're done. They have to retreat. And a lot of levels for that. Really? Guys, I just captured a white dragon. Oh, this is a good day. <laughs> oh, man. If you could see the smile on my face right now. Ear to ear, son.